find at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. We'll be one. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses, foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood-red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future, not just for the world, but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time, like a big flashbulb going off. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity. It's still out there, in the wastes, preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Are you listening? Good. From now on, when I talk, listen, and follow my instructions. Play stupid, play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. It's like that fit boy on your wrist, except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some tune. Do what I say, and the collar will go off. Refuse? Try and run? Disobey me? I'll kill you and find someone else. There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. That structure you see above the fountain, the Sierra Madre Casino, you need to break inside. Ah, uh, heist. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps. You'll need to gather a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. Around the villa are three other callers like yours. Caller 8, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here to the farm. Then we'll talk to them. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. All your callers are linked. One of you dies, you all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. I am short on patience. And you, you are short on time. Unfamiliar with the legend of the Sierra Madre? The casino exists. You are one of the few who look upon it. Where you're standing is the villa beneath the casino above. The wreckage. The villa lies in the shadow. The villa is a dumping ground of failed construction. Pre-war junk that has aged poorly. Yes, music was intended to be broadcast all over the villa. Over time, however, the radio signal has decayed and emits a different frequency. Speakers and radios interfere with the bomb caller frequency and can trigger the detonators prematurely. Hmm. It is an unfortunate side effect, one I did not anticipate. I was unable to calibrate the callers to block the signals. So, 
You'll have to make do. Yes, but not immediately. You'll hear a beep from your caller's detonator. When you do, step back, scan the area, and find the signal source. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. The damaged speakers are sparky. Hard to miss. The casings are resistant to vandalism. Punching or hitting them will not destroy them. Gunshots, energy blasts, even spears thrown with great force can puncture their exterior. Shielded speakers can't be destroyed at all. You will need to avoid them or switch them off via a terminal. I'll leave the method up to you. Ask. I brought you here. There are mechanisms in place once the traps across the Mojave are sprung. For now, your sole focus should be the Sierra Madre and how to get inside. Until then, you won't leave alive. Ask. Yes, the inhabitants. Avoid them if you can. They are difficult to kill. Whatever has created them, bullets, Explosions, energy, it can make them inert for a time, then they seem to crawl back up, restored. Perhaps it's the cloud. Perhaps something in their physiology. The cloud is what blankets the sky here. You may smell it in the air, copper and sulfur. Burns the lungs and seeps into the skin. As for its origins, I'm not certain. Pre-war industrial pollutants. Something in the Sierra Madre structure. It is unique across the wasteland. And deadly. It has kept this place preserved since the Great War. The air here is lethal only if you enter concentrated pockets of the cloud. Too long inside one, you'll die. So be careful where you stand. I've seen some survive concentration of the cloud for short periods of time, if healthy enough. Others were too weak. Rebreathers, chemical suits, there is no protection against it. It decays all the touches. I found fighting it useless. Anywhere sheltered from the cloud. Inside buildings, tunnels. Any place not exposed to the outside air. Anything the cloud has touched has preserved it one way or another. But only the holograms in the villa truly remain. Ghosts. They fill the villa. More in the casino. Much more. They carry out the functions the dead once did. They cannot be harmed. They only perform the same rote tasks until their power dies. They are of no consequence, except for the security holograms, the ones with the silhouettes of the armored Sierra Madre guards. Most holograms perform specific functions. The security holograms, ever since the bombs fell, now perform their function. They will kill anyone they detect. They are immune to guns, weapons, EMPs, even energy weapons. Still, they have limitations. Their design limits their field of view, enough to avoid detection. Each has an emitter, destroy or disable it, and they cease to be a threat. Still, at least they still work as intended. Other technology here is more of a threat to you. Notably, the villa's radios and speakers. Ask. The Sierra Madre has many defenses, means of screening guests for illicit or dangerous items. Your arrival here weaponless was not my intention. The casino, this villa, it takes anything with even a trace of radioactivity, traces of unknown substances, and returns it home. 
the bunker. The process is automated and the casino itself has other similar services. I was unable to find a workaround except to send others in as tools. Someone who followed the call of the Sierra Madre just as you did. Now that I've found it's more than a story, I intend to take what's inside. Maybe that's why you came. Why you followed the Pip-Boy here. And straight into one of my traps. Now, this is your reward. I've downloaded the instructions and markers on your Pip-Boy, in case you forget. And yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Get the other three here after that. I'll have more instructions for you. Do this, I'll let you go. I'll let all of you go. Yes. Caller 8, the FEV reject, the super mutant. He is docile, predictable, and provided he's not starving, should be easy to command. I lost contact with him some time ago. Probably after he dragged you here from the trap. Find him. He'll follow you, caller or no. A long story. FEV, a virus is an even longer story. It gave birth to the docile one, turned them into a super mutant long ago. One is a trusted ally. Obedient, caller or no, although the caller helps. The other two? Well, we'll have to see what the trap's got. Good. If necessary, I will guide you through the villa's broadcast systems. If you get lost, return here, and I'll direct you. I've downloaded instructions on an audio log to your Pip-Boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're here, let my voice remind you. Stroll along the winding streets of our beautiful... That's a way out after you break into the Sierra Madre's vault. Try to leave. I'll set off your caller. You need an escape from your troubles. The villa's comm speakers have aged poorly, like the Madre. Pre-war junk. The speakers emit a signal that'll set off your caller if you stay too long. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. Watch out for the villa inhabitants. They're difficult to kill unless you chop them apart. If you can, blow them up or disintegrate them.
The key to Dog's cage is simple. Take my voice to the cage above. Let me speak to the beast inside. Then you and I, we can talk. Dog, back in the what cage. What have we here? You weren't who I was expecting. I'm disappointed. Still, even if you aren't my intended guest, you take direction. Good. You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. Or perhaps you are, with that leash on your arm, and the one around your neck. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kin. I'm the voice of reason. I sleep sometimes. Down in the basement, in the cage. Now that I'm awake, Dog goes back in the cage. Dog knows I'm here, but can't do anything about it. I'm his... conscience. Keep him tame, keep him from hurting us, doing foolish things. I've been trapped in here for some time, then you come along and let me out. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Now, I want to know why. Trauma. Yes, in a manner of speaking. Do you see these wounds of his covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm. He placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me when all I try to do... <sighs> he cuts hurts and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed, just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages, like the ones here. Don't play stupid. I already have to mind one child. You must have figured it out by now. The old man obsessed with the Sierra Madre, riddled with greed. Hoped you might be him when I woke up. All you are is his hand. You're the same kind of greed. Followed the radio, the broadcast, and now you're here, all confused. Not for long. You'll figure it out. Elijah. Human. Weak like all of you are. Feeling age circling him like starved dogs, howling for blood. To me, he reeks of age and failure. And madness. To me, he is simply the old man. To dog, he is master. His name, meaningless. Running out of years, hopes and dreams running through his withered hands like sand from the big empty and scorched by the sun. The old man, this Elijah, tried to hold the sun in his hands. Arrogance was cast down for it. Icarus' crime was to fly too high. Elijah... Elijah wanted to bring the sun down to him. <laughs> Arrogance.
You're not him any more than I'm Dog. But that collar around your neck, you're an extension of the old man's grasp. Clumsy, perhaps, but a tool, yes. And once you get acclimated to the Sierra Madre, then you'll feel the same overpowering hunger the old man does. And then you'll be him, not just his hand. Of course I know. Even if I don't see it happen. Down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls, the click of the collars. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves any more than Dog can help himself. You heard the voice, the promise. And then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then... Then Dog comes for you. Drags you here. The way back doesn't matter. Try to leave. Try to disobey. And your collar ends the journey faster than you can say, Begin again. You're clever. You'd be able to find a way back if you left the villa. Dog can... I can find the way back, if back is where I even wanted to go. Until the old man lets you go, you're going nowhere. This beautiful paradise, with all its toxins and death, it's home. Me? You think I want to haul bodies around the wastes like a Brahmin at the whip? No. Dog does it. When the old man says fetch, Dog fetches. You were in a man trap, and Dog made his rounds and dragged you here. When, I don't know. But it must have been recent. Before the cage. I don't remember you. That isn't surprising. What is, is that it was when Dog was out of his cage. Free. Hungry. He knows not to eat anything he catches in the traps. After that, however... So he dragged you here. You got spared. Dog must have fed after you arrived. Once he was fed, that allowed me out of the cage and put him inside. Do you remember how long you were out? Must have already been in the cage. Already had the collar in me. You're lucky Dog didn't devour you. Otherwise, we'd be closer than we are now. Of course you do. And so do I. It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things. Needs to think before he eats. Chew before he swallows. He's... eager that way. Now the collar's a part of me. Inside. I can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below. Like before. It was cold and heavy before going in the cage. Now you're here, and it's pulling and kicking again, tugging like a leash. Interesting. Really? Yet it led you here, to me. And now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. They... detach. When segmented, they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. And if they're attached to neck flesh, warm, red... Dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Dog can't help himself. Hungry. Greedy. 
and now the collar's inside, alive again. And we're trapped here until it goes cold. Of course you do. And so do I. The key? Why, it's the old man. The one who brought us here. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old man to show up so he and I can... talk. If Dog was in control when the old man appeared, well, he would just do whatever he commanded, as always. And I can't have that. Dog... obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? You... don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage. End you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until... No, you wouldn't. If you did, you won't escape this place alive. I'd shatter every one of your limbs to splinters and leave you here. You think I'm afraid of your collar exploding, killing us? No. I'll leave you breathing, then keep walking until my collar goes cold. I'll prop your broken body in view of the Sierra Madre so you can see what you came to steal forever out of reach as you die. Prove it. How? Words are worthless. Hmm. No. No, you're not. Even though Dog's more docile, easier to control. You may regret this. This place... This place is where creatures like Dog can survive. The people that fill its streets. He is as vicious, more vicious than them. His hunger can help you more than I can. When I am in control, this shell is difficult to... fight in. The... inhabitants of the villa, they are difficult to kill. They need to be chopped apart, hacked on the ground, disintegrated if you can. They are difficult to kill, but not to devour. And Dog is always hungry. If he is with you when they fall, he will fall on them, end them. If I am with you, fighting will be far more difficult. <laughs> I am not sure you belong here. No, you don't belong here. Yet, you came this far, and I'm not interested in remaining here any longer. I'll unlock the cage. Very well. Lead on. Toxins in the air in here. If it isn't the clever one, what do you want? Dog is better at the baser instincts than I. I merely have the brain for it. His sinew and muscle are difficult to move consciously. He's always hungry, clumsy, heavy. 
We'll see. All of your weapons will do. And your stems. Have a seat, and then we'll talk. Have a seat. Came all this way. Least I can do is let you rest your feet for a sec. The idiot swallowed his collar. The Sierra Madre. Beauty, isn't she? She the one who invited you here? Or maybe you didn't catch her voice on the radio. Woke up confused like some of the others. Least you're still breathing. By the way, don't get up or make any sudden motions, no matter how uncomfortable that chair gets. The cushion's just for show. Sounds like you've done some blue-collar construction work in your life. Your ma must be proud. Still. Get up without my permission. I'll blast your ass so far through your head, it'll turn the moon cherry pie red. So, let's keep this sweet and polite, and finish our conversation with no misunderstandings. And that's what I've missed, a rapt audience. Just because I work in entertainment doesn't mean I'm a moron. I heard my necktie beeping. I know what that means. I'm part of this somehow. I want out of this contract. And if you put me in it, I'm not going to be too happy. So whatever's going on here, if you're part of all this, you're taking orders from me. That's so. That's an interesting clause. That's a real bad contract you have. We have. <laughs> all right, all right. Looks like Medage finally caught me. I'm listening. Partner, what's next if we're death till we part? Not leaving me much choice. The fountain, huh? Hope the hologram's still working and the battery's running strong. I'll follow you. I'm not going alone, trust me. Not like I'm a coward or anything. I'm not running around town without an escort. I'm serious. One of the locals catches us. We aren't coming back. And I'd like to keep an eye on you. I know what's out there. It's why I've planted a minefield, shotguns and explosives all the way on the road to my little boudoir here. So we go together or we're not going at all. I'll split my hand in blackjack when the time's right. I'm not splitting up in this town, trust me. That's a good point. All right. Let me grab some smokes and I'll meet you at the fountain. Don't have to take the long way back. There's a shortcut across the way. Idiots hunger It's through the cloud, but if I'm with you, I can help you through it. If you didn't already force the light to the gate.
your arm. Wear it on my neck. and your part in all this. The owner of the Sierra Madre, for whatever reason, keyed the grand opening to the gala event itself. It needs to be fired off in order for the casino doors to open. As I've discovered, one person can't do it. So get your team into position indicated on your pit boy, then trigger it properly. You're so close now, don't let me down. Otherwise, I'll have to rely on the next TT. I've unlocked the west and east gates to Cuesta del Sol and Salida del Sol. Now that you've survived the villa, I need to get to my position. You don't need me to hold your hand anymore. I'll keep monitoring you via the transceivers through the villa. If I need to offer guidance, I will. A display of lights, fireworks, music in the streets. A pre-war festival to mark the casino's opening. The bomb struck first. It is of no consequence, only firing the event is. Get the three in position, then travel to your position in Salida del Sol and trigger the gala. After that, the real work begins. Perhaps you think this is a simple robbery, a cheap casino heist. No, this is a heist of the centuries. We're not plundering Sierra Madre, we're plundering history, taken from the old world itself. It won't let its secrets go easily, not without a fight. I wouldn't expect anything less. I'd suggest taking the FEV reject to his position first. Although you may need his brutality and strength elsewhere first. As easy as the villa was to navigate, the outlying areas of the villa are far more dangerous, thicker with the ghost people, traps, and toxins. Use your team as I use you. Listen to your caller. Watch where you step. You are no use to be dead. So, are we on our way to somewhere else? A gala event, perhaps? The gala event is the way to bring the old man out. He won't show himself until the casino doors are open. So triggering the event is key, and the key. The question becomes, can we trust each other to do this? We'll see. If we go there, you'll have to give me control. If you bring Dog out, then I'll make sure you pay in blood. Maybe it's familiar, comfortable. Practice makes perfect. And as much as it bruises my ego, some things require brute strength. In the right combination. And besides, none of your assembled band of thieves look able to rip a 200-year rusted power switch down like a machete to fire up an entire town. More. Don't push your luck. All it takes is the right command. Whenever Dog hears the... his master giving orders, I go back in the cage. So that leash on your wrist, and the one on your neck. I won't truly be free to... express myself until every trace of that voice is destroyed. 
Still, if you ever want to speak to me, bark my audio log at him. The one in the police station. That'll call me out. Dog is afraid of me as long as the master isn't around. The master, Elijah, reminds Dog of someone from long ago. His leader, commander, commanders. The master was a strong personality. Personalities as well. Dog is slavish, was conditioned to serve the master until death. The old man, Elijah, merely came along and opened that door in Dog's mind. Now, Dog does whatever the old man wants. Do anything? Me? Me, Dog puts in the cage, hurts himself to try and drown out my voice, when all I want to do... Uh, uh, never mind. Useless. Finally had to start fighting back, screaming on my own. Had to take matters into my own hands, lock Dog up. I've watched over Dog for so long. Tried to stop him from hurting others, killing others. Quiet that mindless, howling instinct of his. He doesn't understand. He has the brain of a child. He knows when he does wrong. He just can't help himself. He's my brother, Kin. Without him, I wouldn't exist. Maybe I was nothing more than his conscience, trying to rein him in. Useless. I... I just need him to show restraint. Let go of the needs, the hungers. Ease the burden. Just once, so I can have my thoughts to myself. The instinct is stronger than me. Dog is stronger than me. He's just a child. He knows when he does wrong. He just can't help himself. I don't know when I first spoke, or when I first started thinking for myself. It was so long ago. I... slept for a long time. Before, I want to believe I was the one in control once. I don't know anymore. Then Dog got a new master, a new voice, and I woke up to protect him. You're a brave one. Sure you're ready for the answers? The old man obsessed with the Sierra Madre, riddled with greed. Hoped you might be him when I woke up. All you are is his hand. You're the same kind of greed. Followed the radio, the broadcast, and now you're here, all confused. Not for long. You'll figure it out. You're a brave one. Sure you're ready for the answers? We'll see. If it isn't the clever one, what do you want? Maybe Dog will obey you. I'm not as easily broken. More. Don't push your luck. Orders. For me. This should be good. I'll follow you, for now. Can't believe the idiot swallowed his collar. So here we are. A row of switches all lined up. How familiar. These switches won't move themselves, after all. There must be some... trick to it. 
Now that I'm here, what do you expect me to do? I do. The diagram there tells me what I need to know. You're right, but trust? Trust is such a harsh word. I prefer mutual need. It's more honest. No, I can help you. These wiring diagrams. I know how to operate the switches in sequence to make fire appear in the sky. I... We just need to make sure that dog doesn't surface before that happens. To do that, he'll need to be fed. That makes him stay in the cage. Dog has torn apart a number of the inhabitants of this town. Well, he doesn't prefer them to... Other flesh. It'll do for the time being. Find some of the inhabitants. It'll require some hunting on your part. Kill them. Take some of the remains inside them. Bring it back here. They're not easy to kill. But I have faith in you, and the beast must be fed if you want him to stay in this cage. Two chunks of meat from their bodies should be enough. Hunt quietly, so as not to draw more here. enough meat. I can feel dog's teeth tearing at my ribs, hungry to get out. You're good at fetching. This should keep him where he belongs. For now. I'll wait. Send the signal. We'll be ready. Quiet dog, stay in the watch. Just wallflower it over here. Was that him floating above the fountain, the boss man? The one who put these bow ties on our necks? Sure does like to make a presentation. We should keep it down or else the ghost people are going to swarm the gates. Vera hologram or no. Supposed to be the grand opening of the Sierra Madre. Lots of lights, music, the works. And he's going to use the gala event to open the casino? But that's interesting. Yeah, maybe the drain in power. That'll cause the security systems to shut down enough to let us in. But getting back out? No, the place will close up tighter than an opening at the Fronds. Or Danny Parker's sphincter when he has to tip a doorman. Right, look. So, not everything about the villa was the pinnacle of bright ideas. In order to pull off the gala, old Sinclair had to get creative. The Sierra Madre announcement, for example. Not just for the casino, not at all. The gala's tied to the casino, draws on its power. Might cause it to reset itself, open the doors for a bit like it was supposed to. 
Well, Vera's beautiful voice doesn't run on casino power, exactly. Her broadcast is tied into the emergency broadcast signal for the Sierra Madre. You know, in case of attack. Well, guess what? The night of the gala event, the emergency signal went out all right. But because the broadcast had been hooked up to the gala event, instead of an emergency signal, you get Vera's voice on the radio. Great, huh? Yeah, the Sierra Madre's last song, one only a few people are ever going to hear. A little sad, but what can you do? Tourists, you bet. They don't stay long, and they don't stay alive long. If they survive the cloud, the ghost people, the traps, then greed takes over, and they start sizing each other up for funeral suits. Sure, first they figure they can get out, escape. Then they start thinking it over, start thinking about how they can have it all. They start weighing the odds, taking risks, and then taking each other out. Bomb collars are not. Although, it's odd. The bomb collars weren't linked before like they are now. Guess someone learned what the problem was. Well, considering my life's on the line too, yeah. A few things. First off, keep everyone together. Keep checking behind you. Make sure your partners are following. Don't let them wander. Also, don't go running crazy everywhere. Almost every inch of this town is lethal. So if you're not sure, take it real slow. And speaking of slow, don't go shouting or attracting attention. Go quiet. The ghost people find you. It's over. Alive's a tricky word. The locals, the ghost people, not sure it applies to them. They're a little uncivilized. They don't talk much, as in at all. Friend, there's more mysteries in heaven and earth. Wait, no. If there is more between heaven and earth, oh, forget it. I'd sooner ask what makes me an undying son of a bitch than spend any thought as to why they crawl to life here. I'm counting myself lucky I still have my faculties. They sure don't. Then again, they may not have had the focus I do. Always had the Sierra Madre to keep my mind occupied. Most folks, they don't have the same drive, the same need, not worth my time. Pretty much ghost people before the bomb, now ghost people after. Tried talking to them, bribing them, leaving food, nothing. In the years since, they haven't changed their approach, but I sure have. They catch you, they drag you into the cloud, and you're not coming back out. After that, having your necktie go off would be mercy. My advice? Stay out of their way. They don't die easy. It's your time, and if you want to spend it chatting, not much I can do about it. No. Looks like a rooftop in Puesta del Sol. In better days, nice view. Now... It's the last place anyone wants to stand when this event goes off. That place during spring, summer and fall, a little bit in winter, is a prime resort spot for ghost people. Not the best of neighborhoods. If we're going there, I'm not going alone. And if you have any bright ideas about telling me to stroll over there, or leave me there, no thanks.
partner, I'm not sure this guy's operating with a full deck. My bet? Process of elimination, lowest common denominator. He figures the strong man's needed somewhere, even if it sounds like the strong man's two minds about it. Plus, I'm guessing wherever old doggy boys needed doesn't need smarts. I hope not. Or we're royally jonesed. Christine, that her name? Nice name. I mean, you can't see it on posters, but never mind. I don't know. She might need to hold some place where speaking isn't important. Like stage tech? Lighting? Got me. And me? I've had prime billing in Europe, New York, and this gig doesn't feel like that. Don't get me wrong, I can hold an audience, conduct a score from the rooftops, but I'm guessing I'm the odd man out in this whole heist. Odd man out, dead weight. Someone you need holding the toolbox, the nurse passing the scalpel, the chauffeur driving you to the concert. Any guy with hands is who he needs up on that rooftop. Guess he thinks I don't rate looking like I do. Poor him. I'd shed a tear, but I'm sure we'll be chatting again. Well, now, if it isn't my ball, chain, and dog collar rolled all into one. Strike up the band. Domino's back in town. You're at the Ghoul Scaler area. Now make him stay. So, this is where I'm supposed to put on the show. Played better venues, let me tell you. What's that there? Wiring? Looks? Looks like it's tied to the sound system in the villa. Except for that snipped section there. So, what? I stand here, hold the two ends in my hands and tap them together like symbols? Look, I strike up the speaker system. There's going to be ghosts all over this place. Any change in the sounds around here? The ghost people are not big on talking. They are big on listening, hunting, killing. More vicious than music critics, trust me. Take? It's not going to take anything, because you couldn't offer me anything to stay here. The ghost people will come out of the woodwork when the gala event starts blaring, and when they see me trapped up here, it's curtains for Dean. Really? That wasn't the we're both bomb married talk you gave me when we first met. Look, you could offer me a steel-clad contract for a world tour of all major cities with Imperial Records. I still wouldn't stay here. No, you want to know why? Because there's more beneath the streets, in the buildings, and no, everywhere else. They hear anything out of the ordinary, especially music screaming through the speakers when I close the connection. They'll be here fast. Well, yeah. If the hologram system still works, that'd do the trick. Okay, all right. You call up some of those old world stiffs. That'd be an audience I wouldn't mind having below. If I remember correctly, there should be two holograms you can switch on in the area. Just don't remember how. Do that, and I'll consider waiting on the rooftop. Maybe. Well, 
well now if it isn't my ball, chain and dog collar rolled all into one. You powered the holograms up? Well, yeah, that's pretty good protection. Sure worked at the fountain, Vera kept the ghost people away. But uh, how do I know the power won't suddenly go out and... I don't know, this still sounds risky to me. For me. What? You wouldn't. I mean... No, wait, you would. You don't bluff ever since you first showed up in the villa and we chatted. All right, look, if the holograms are here to keep me company, then... I don't mind staying here for a while. But listen, when this thing goes off, try and get into the Sierra Madre without me. You'll wish you hadn't.
The bell tower. That's where you'll trigger the gale event. It's a ways up. I'm sure you'll find a way to climb up there. Interesting. Maybe that's 
that's why... Perhaps the casino recognized specific guests, or guests with a voice or look close enough for them to be assigned to that floor. We'll see. Had hoped with the power restored, the systems would fully awaken. Especially the sound archives. But no. Your teammates' callers on each floor are interfering with the systems. It's the white noise filters embedded in their construction. They're blocking the casino speakers, the music. You'll need to recalibrate or destroy each caller. To do that, you need to get close, reset the signal, or blow their heads off. I'll leave the choice up to you. My preference? End them now. They're of no use. After all, it's safe to kill them now, provided you make it quick. You see, the callers don't work inside the Sierra Madre. Well, between floors. Else, I'd set off the callers. Be done with it. So find them, deal with them, as long as you're fast and can get off the floor after killing them. The floors, whatever they line this place with, interferes with the caller frequency. So if you kill them, you should have some time to run. Oh, just not sure how long may not be consistent. More or less, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. What we need is in the basement. We need to go to the top first and write our fortunes down. After we deal with your team on the other floors. Going to make Casino burn. No more I'll being... Hurry up deal with the FPV reject. Going to make He's Casino no use to us. burn. No more being... Tired of being your minder. Tired of... Putting dog to sleep, he wakes up in cage, hungry. Dog wants to protect you, always wanted to protect you. The reason I have to take control is... Master, Master set me free. Dog needs to listen to me. If you do this, we both die. Dog wants to die, don't care. Tired of you, tired of place. Master. Must be a back entrance to the kitchen. Check the main casino side corridors. Find it. Going to make. That idiot's opened the gas valves. A single spark, or he sets off his collar. The casino's going to burn. Us, along with him. Shut off the gas valves or that idiot will kill us all. Tired of being your... Not listening. All five. You? Master? No, not Master. Dog remembers you. Left dog in cage. Mean to dog. Now dog. <laughs> will kill us. Both, unless you do something. Never felt him so strong before. He won't listen to my voice. He's... He's... Hungry. Come here, or Dog will chase you. Break you until you no run anymore. Hmm? Master? Don't want Master to be mad. What does Master want Dog to... Listen to you. Can't hold him back much longer. Tell him to pull on his chain as hard as... Dog can. What Master wants, Dog can do. Please don't be mad with Dog. Master? Master. Dog... Dog is listening. Both of us are. Tell him to listen to me. Then we can get out of this. Finally. And... Now Dog is listening to voice. Your voice only. Dog can see the voice. Looks just like dog. And 
dog looks just like me. You've hurt yourself inside. Do you see now? See? In the water. Dog understands now. Dog knows what happened. If dog... If dog goes into the water, dog can't help if master gets mad. You were nice to dog. Dog wants to help. He's right. If you merge us, then I... We... Or whatever we become, we can't help you when you reach whatever's at the Sierra Madre's end. And dog... Dog doesn't want to unremember you, may forget you. We will forget almost all that has happened here. You'll be alone, at the old man's mercy. Like dog. Like me. You were there all the time. All the time. You were there. And so close. Together. Who... Who are you? What is this place? That... That was not the answer I was expecting. I don't know you. Yet I feel like I do, and a feeling of gratitude. I... Forgive me, I... I'm wounded. This chain, this bear trap on my arm. How did I even get this far with these wounds? The pain is excruciating. I... I need to rest for a moment. Thank you, for whatever you have done. I will remain here, need to get my strength back. You've got one of the floors re-established, good. Accessing the music archives now? Two more to go. Oh, it seems the casino has uninvited guests. The villa inhabitants was pounding at the doors. Now they found a way inside. Deal with them, and don't try and leave yourself, or I'll let the caller do its work. So you showed. Felt the collar start kicking again as soon as the elevator doors rattled open. Think you're going to upstage me here at the Sierra Madre? I don't think so. Now that I'm inside, well, I don't need you anymore. Me? I was halfway off the rooftop, through the service tunnel, and beelining for the gate before the light show started. And before Vera finished her gala speech. I knew what had happened with music in the streets and lights in the sky. Ghost people. Lots of them. But that was your problem. Anyway, front gate was open, nowhere I was letting you get in first. I walk in, there's a flash, and I'm here. Must have been Sinclair's security. He always had a thing about letting any threats into the casino. Security system's twitchy that way. Me, though, I'm a guest here, so I guess I got the royal treatment after all. You think I'm the bad guy here? I'm not the one slapping bomb collars on innocent folks and flicking the switch. And I'm not stabbing you in the back. I was facing you all the time. This heist 
I planned it lifetimes ago. You and that old man, tourists. Time for a little show. I'll just grab a seat and watch how this plays out from backstage. Security can handle it from here. No, no, the collars. I know what happened now. Sure, mine activated, but it feels different, the electronic tap dance inside. I can kill you and still make it out while security is busy frying you to a crisp. Hands are clean, then smooth sailing to the Sierra Madre. Way I figure it, you'll try and run for the exit. And only I know where the key is. And where the safest place in the whole theater is. Backstage. You, you're trapped down there. And you couldn't shut off the speakers, unlock the doors, or cancel security if you tried. What? What now? Try and come back here? No, you belong out in the audience. I mean, not like, uh, you could get backstage. That key you snagged, it won't work. Of all the... Where the hell are those stupid holograms already? Even if you get back here, you won't live long, trust me. You're resourceful, I'll give you that. It's going to take a lot more than juggling keys and shooting speakers to stop me. As I see it, all I need to do is kill you, then make a run for the exit. You do the same, you'll be clawing at the lock until your head blows off. So, maybe you and I should have a little chat. Just like we did when you first waltzed into town.
You don't just stop robbing casinos, do you? What's that tape? Oh, the one with Sinclair's woman, Vera. What about it? You want me to give you a standing ovation? Blackmail is such a strong word. I asked her, she said yes, then she started to get cold feet. I blame Sinclair. He was such a victim that maybe she felt it would be too easy. It doesn't matter. Sinclair built this whole town to accommodate her. Same with the casino's voice lock. He wanted to make sure she had access to everything. And since I already had access to Vera, well, that meant I had access to the vault, too. What wasn't I blackmailing her with? Chemuse, indiscretions, more chemuse, the usual Hollywood tune. Like Sinclair, people are the architects of their own misfortunes. Leave themselves wide open for someone to waltz right in and take what they want. As long as they take a single step into the trap, get a few pictures, get a little dirt, and that person's your piano. Vera? Medex was her thing. Even super-stimmed herself for the after-rush. Sick. Because she could get closer to Sinclair than I ever could. He built this place for her. Well, after the two chanced to meet. Sinclair was already puppy-eyed, so all I had to do was the introductions. She smiled, fluttered her eyes, showed a little leg. And he built this whole place for her made her the key to his vault, like a joke, cause of her name. Her fake Hollywood name. Except Sinclair didn't know I'd been there first. I could twist her whatever direction I wanted. All she had to do was get inside the Sierra Madre for the gala, then use her voice to open the door. After that, smooth sailing would have been the biggest heist in history. Sinclair left holding the bag, ruined. The bomb. Vera got sealed in here. A few hundred years go by, give or take. Almost the end of the story. Then you came along. Now we finish the job. Rob the Sierra Madre, rip out its heart. Last chapter of Frederick Sinclair. Close the book. Problem? All high and mighty. Lording it over everyone, acting so self-righteous, like nothing could touch him. He was the one with the problem. Never got mad at anything, nothing seemed to shake him. Even after his life kept getting dragged through the dirt. Always kept looking for the bright, shining future in everything. So... I decided to take everything from him. Do to me. What, weren't you listening? He thought he was better than me. Don't believe me? Look around. This big casino. This big colossal monument. Think it was for some woman? No. All ego. All self-righteous in lights. Fit him perfect. Had to take him down a few pegs, bring him down to my level. Begin again? Some things you don't get up from. I was going to prove it.
I didn't know at first. Then the old man showed up. You showed up. Then that woman showed up, covered in scars. The one who makes all the hand signs, a little tight around the corners of her mouth. I put her in the clinic, tuned her like an instrument. If she heals up, it's not going to be her voice speaking anymore. That is, if the Sierra Madre didn't get her. If it did, well, there's enough of Vera around for me to spend a few years piecing a book together. Then she can make some beautiful music. I'm not banking on it. So here's the short of it. Piece together Little Miss Vera Key's song in the right order. Sierra Madre opens its legs when in business. Always asking questions when you should be shooting. You're a piece of work, I'll give you that. Going... Thread the archives together at the main floor of the terminal. Find the mutant, deal with her. She's somewhere on this floor. Drawers buzzing with emitter signatures. Watch out for holograms. If it's who I think it is, this is Christine. Recovered. In what looks like an old world hotel room. My class. Two rooms. Exit sealed. All doors are locked down, security's activated, and emitter signals are lighting up all over this floor. I'll do what I can from here. Floor's got holographic security, not latest tech. Field of view targeting systems, primitive, familiar. Made it. Good. There's to talk. I'll keep this quick in case my voice goes out. Do I? It sounds off to my ears. Hard to tell. Not to mention it. it hurts like hell to swallow. Might be why I got moved off to this suite. It's hers. That's her over there. Got trapped by security like I did. Just took a different way out. I've been hunting the one who hijacked your pit boy, Elijah, for some time. He cannot leave the Sierra Madre alive. What he's done? What he's done here is nothing compared to what he's done in the past. The only way to bring him out is if you get to the vault. He won't allow you to go down there alone. That's when we kill him. Too long. Thought I might have had a chance to settle it before this event happened. But then the chance slipped away again. Those are my orders. 
I've seen what he's done, and I believe in those orders. He cut me off from someone I cared about a long time ago. He used his status to break us apart, so I had to find a new purpose. Same banner. Then he became unstable, left a trail of crimes across the wasteland. Once word reached us, I was ordered to kill him. He saw me, before the scars, at a place far from here. It's where he found some of the technology he uses now. It's a place called the Big Empty. The name's deceptive, if you know where to look. Almost got trapped there. There was someone else, though, who came along, knew about Elijah. No idea. A courier. Wore an old world flag on his back. He was the one who pulled me out there. Told me where Elijah had gone. Helped me heal up. Listened to my story. He... sympathized. He said he understood what it meant to track someone who had such a... impact on his past life. He said people were like couriers. Sometimes never understanding the messages they brought. That's who he was hunting for. Some courier. Wasn't sure until now I could trust you. Now I know. Look, when I woke up here, however that happened, I had this key on me. I think it belongs to her. Haven't had a chance to use it yet. Might open the dresser or the safe. Didn't have time to experiment with it before you arrived. Here you go. The gala went off. The switching station opened up. Thought the screeching in the auto dock was bad. Station worse. Got outside, saw the light show, and it was enough to make me run to the casino. Also, it seemed like the lights and speakers were helping to guide me. Guess your master wanted a backup in case you died. As for being assigned to this floor, maybe it's because of my new voice. Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe it recognized me as a guest. Yeah, still functional. A lot of garbage data on it. Its basic procedures should still work fine. I can see. Check the route. Recent diagnostics. A lot of medex was dispensed for... Vera Keys. Guess that's her corpse there for certain. And why all those meds are scattered around in here. Here's the medical report. Looks like she had some sort of terminal condition. Diagnosis isn't conclusive. Must have been painful. I'm not even sure she knew if these medical reports are enough. She must have been numb most of the time. No. They run a lot deeper than that. While I was hunting Elijah in the Big Empty, he trapped me in one of those medical research centers buried there. It... did something to my head, and I got off lucky. It's difficult enough to read now, and somehow the leap between what's in my head and words... It just ends up being a mishmash of symbols, not letters. Can still do math, formulas, equations... Writing poetry's out. Yeah. I saw records of other patients and what had been done to them. Some couldn't hear anything but static. Others just... gibbering wrecks. Never going back. And Elijah was on his way here, so I couldn't stop to see if it was something I could fix. If you can even fix what happened to me when they jabbed the electrodes into my skull and turned my head into a flashlight. Then I got here, and my voice got severed. Now I have a new one. 
Another thing Elijah has to answer for. Dean. Dean Domino? Why would he want to torture me? If he wanted to do that, he could keep his singing career going. Or keep staring at me. To the vault. Of course. That makes sense. I've done worse. Much worse. And for more hopeless causes. And I will again. All right. I'm just glad I can answer you now. I've been hunting the one who hijacked your pit boy, Elijah, for some time. He cannot leave the Sierra Madre alive. What he's done? What he's done here is nothing compared to what he's done in the past. The only way to bring him out is if you get to the vault. He won't allow you to go down there alone. That's when we kill him. Wasn't sure until now I could trust you. Now I know. Yeah, it's still functional. A lot of garbage data on it. Its basic procedures should still work fine. Good luck. He's not an easy opponent. If I can, I'll help. Might be able to figure something out using the Sierra Madre's computer systems. You're back. You sure you still want me here, callers and all? Not much for waiting around with a bomb around my neck. You did. Looks like even the old world can't keep you out when you've got a mind to get in. So, I just... Rasp out some words and the vault opens? That woman, the starlet. She didn't build this place. Why would the builder do that? I know. The sealed doors, the security. It's almost a fortress. Think that's why we're being ordered to come here and crack it open? Love makes people do strange things. Won't argue that. It can drive you crazy sometimes if you can't... connect. If they loved each other, and they were together. I suppose that's all that mattered. But she's in that side room, dead, because the casino wouldn't let her leave. And who knows where he is? If you go down there, are you prepared? What if you don't come back? I... just wanted to make sure you're ready. When you go down there, that may be it for us. We won't be needed anymore. The one who made these callers, he'll follow you down there. And he won't let you leave. He's not one for sharing. Never was. I... I... Can't let him leave here. Look, you've done so much, and he's not gonna show himself until you go down there. I can't let go. Every time I've thought about it, I've lost him so many times. He needs to die. What happened here with us? He's... he's done so much worse. You have to promise me. Promise me you'll deal with him. If I see him, I... Alright, alright, I'll... 
But I'll need to leave this floor. He'll pick up my collar and... I... Never mind. Let me get the vault open. Begin again. But know when to let go. <sighs> Sounds like you. Begin again, but no one to let go. Sierra Madre Seydol just as I did. You couldn't resist. So if you feel I have a lot to answer for, no, the blame isn't on my shoulders. Might as well have put the collar on yourself. You speak as if your fingers have never touched the keys of a Robco terminal. No machine is foolproof. They are designed to obey us. The Pip-Boy's operating system has vulnerabilities, advantages to those who've studied its construction, even superficially. It's just a machine, though. Its real vulnerability is who wears it. And that's how you were caught.
that thing on your wrist. It's a convenience. It tells you where to go, what to do. It dulls your brain. It may have helped you find the Sierra Madre broadcast, but it's just as much a crutch today as it was in the old world. Curious? You must be. We have time now that you've done your work, and our interactions have been too one-sided, even for my tastes. What do I want? Weapons, security, a citadel of my own. The Madre is all these things. It's a fortress, a weapon, a chance to begin again. Once I unlock its archives, I can carve the Mojave into any shape I choose. The cloud is unique in my travels. Its proximity to the Sierra Madre isn't a coincidence. Right now it protects this casino, preserves it. It can be used to preserve other old world relics and cleanse them at the same time. And as much as I've researched hologram technology, the big empty facility was clear. Only the Sierra Madre got holograms working properly. The holograms here kill trespassers. That's what I want. Dump one of those emitters in the middle of any battle, there's no defense. It's like holding light in your hands. Can fight it. Only watch it burn. Just one is a portable army. Arm it. Anyone stands against you dies. Ask. You still have time. I suspect this great land had compliance issues before the war. It's one of a series of models. The one in your neck? Special. Easier to make adjustments. Unreliable in other ways, notably radio interference. A place far from here called the Big Empty. Almost didn't make it out. There were two others there. A woman. And a man, a courier. The woman was familiar. The other. I don't know what happened to him. No. I'm not going to take the chance while I'm so close. Not this close. No. Not again. I can wait. Afford to be careful. You? You're locked down there. This is the only entrance, and I have free reign of the Sierra Madre. I have time, more than you. Besides, there might be more traps. I'll send more scouts in. Yes, others. You're resourceful. Don't want to leave anything more to chance. Any farther, try to breach the vault, you become a corpse. What's inside is mine. Anyone else touches it, tries to take it from me, they'll answer for it. This casino is in some caravan safe, and the lock that secures the Sierra Madre vault doesn't hold all its secrets. Find a way inside? You can try. The Sierra Madre is a patient thing, and it has outlasted many who've come to its doors. 
The punishment often equals a reward for those without the foresight to see what's in store. I'll let you test the security. See how you stand up. I've had enough, enough of others stealing from me. I'm coming down. Forget the Sierra Madre security. I'll find you myself. Try to break into the vault, I'll set off the caller. against you. It always stories of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. This story's different than the others. It's all in promise of beginnings. And the ending. Dog forgot himself, as did the voice that raged within him. After their passing, a new voice spoke within the mutant shell. It was difficult for the voice to remember the two it once was. There was the beast dog consumed by hunger and the other in reverse the one consumed by control both were driven by need for the other the courier brought them together somehow joined the two into one all that happened at the Sierra Madre was a faint memory to the new personality like a flickering light in the clouds of the mind the new voice did not think of the courier again until the battle at the Divide reached his ears. The battle between the two couriers, beneath the torn skies and the old world flag, each bearing a message for the other. And the mutant prayed the courier that had saved him had been saved in return. 
Dean Domino. Entertainer, singer, thief. Had his last show on the Sierra Madre stage. The heist he spent over 200 years planning fell apart, just as the first, by underestimating his partner's strength. Not long after the courier left the villa, the lights in the theater shut off one by one. Only Dean's hologram remained on the stage, singing silently to an empty room. Still, as consumed as he had been with its riches and ruin, the Sierra Madre had held him captive long ago. Christine, her mission complete, found new purpose as the Sierra Madre's warden. She watched over it silently, by choice. Over time, the ghost people came to see her as one of the holograms. They would watch silently as she walked among them. At times, Christine thought of the courier, who had kept Elijah's hand from her throat. The courier reminded her of the other courier she had met in the Big Empty, and wondered if the two had found each other at last. She did not think of them again until she heard the legends of the Divide. The Divide, where the two messengers, the two couriers, fought beneath an ancient flag at the edge of the world. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses. Some foolishness about it lying in the middle of a city of dead. A city of ghosts. Buried beneath a blood-red cloud. A bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. An illusion that you can begin again, change your fortunes. Finding it, though, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Wait a moment. Before you go, I... We hope you've enjoyed your stay. Farewells can be a time of sadness, letting go, difficult. As a guest of the Sierra Madre, you know that truth more than anyone. Frederick Sinclair believed one's life could be made anew every day, that fortunes were more than the wealth in your hands. Love, life, family, those to care for, and those who will care for you. To those who know these joys, the Sierra Madre holds little they don't already have. Out in the world, beyond these walls, that is your chance to begin again. I hope you'll return in happier times. Until then, the Sierra Madre and I will hold you in our hearts.